Let's solve this system of equations by using the addition method. Right now, let's pretend I add down. x plus 2x is 3x, y plus y is 2y, and 4 plus 5 is 9. The purpose of the addition method is when you add down, we either get rid of an x or get rid of a y. But in this case, we don't do either. So I'm going to have to manipulate one of the two equations so that when I add down, I either get rid of my x or my y. It doesn't really matter which one I get rid of, the x or the y, but I notice that if this was a negative y, negative y plus y would be zero. So that's the one I'm going to go for. I'm going to multiply this equation by negative one. That gives me negative x minus y equals negative four. The second one I'm going to leave alone, 2x plus y equals 5. So now what happens when I add straight down, negative 1x plus 2x is x, negative y plus y is 0, negative 4 plus 5 is 1. I get x to equal 1. Now I need to find y. Now, it's important to know I can either use this equation or this equation to solve for y, and it doesn't really matter. So let's use this second one, 2x plus y equals 5. But in this case, I know what x is. x is 1. So I'm going to substitute 1 in for x. Okay, 2 times 1 is 2. Now, I remember, I want to get y by itself, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equal sign, and I'm going to write it up here. y equals 5 minus 2 is 3. So the solution for this system of equations is x equals 1, y equals 3. Remember, it's an ordered pair, because if we graphed them, that's where they would intersect at. 